Ye though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. I want to dedicate this video to two different groups of people. First and most importantly, you. You that show us so much love and support, the ones that always hit the like button or leave us a good uplifting comment. This video is for you. I worked so hard on this to give you the quality content that I believe you deserve. You helped to make these videos possible and we thank you for that. And now to the second group. This is to the ones that try to discourage me. The ones that's in there leaving rotten comments or bashing people because they believe in something that they don't believe in. Listen, it's okay to be a skeptic. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't try to discourage someone from doing something they love and that other people enjoy. And I want you to know you helped to fuel my fire and you're not gonna stop me because the first group is more important than the second group. But every machine needs fuel to run. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Better come check out the terrain first. Get down in that. I literally just got covered in swamp mud, hanging my arm out, getting one of those slow motion shots. I've run into my first obstacle and I have no idea how this got here. This tree is too healthy to have been broke. I'm just right in the middle of the trail and look at this, it's been snapped other piece of it's up there but it wasn't a part of a bigger tree this was the biggest part of it and i can't tell but dude that's a clean snap and there's the rest of the tree i'm gonna have to drag this out of the road so i can get by it should have been munching out on something. Can't stop me. This is where me and little mama come riding. And we got stuck. I brought the chainsaw, but instead of sawing this up until I find out whose property this is, because mine's just right on the other side, I'm going to hoof it from here. I'm getting ready to put y'all on my shoulder, and we're going to go see what we can find. Yeah, I hope this shoulder cam is picking up good. I know there is nobody has been down this way in a while, because this is where me and little mama was on the side-by-side -side when we come up through here trying to... Uh, right down to the property so i know nobody has been up here in a while so as y'all know last night jeremiah lives in the trailer that we lived in i posted it as a short but he's catching the same sounds down there on his security cameras That was big. That was a deer because a deer would have kept going. I'm 
preserves and eggs. These are right over that way. See, I told y'all, all in this area, there's a lot of activity. And I mean, you see, I'm the first person that's been up here in a long time. Sound like something keeps throwing something. Hiking these old trails like that, spider webs is the worst thing. You get that sentry being followed. tracks, no bear tracks, no nothing. I'm happy that there's no bear tracks because they've been one getting in the trash down there at Jeremiah's place. I do, I feel like something's watching me. I mean, the birds are still singing. That gives me a little bit of comfort, but something still just don't feel right. The birds are singing, at least that gives me a little bit of peace. When the birds stop singing, that's when I get nervous. Oh, I know where I'm at right now. Right where that rock got flung down the hill. I don't even know if I'm gonna include this cause it'll actually break the mood, but I walked up on something, I seen it, and then I decided, okay, I'm gonna get a little B-roll of this to make it more of a cool experience. That is actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie about it. That is extremely cool. And I actually need to look around and see if there's any other signs right here. trees that I can see this is all in the area where everything happened that's that smell like a cross between sulfur and rotten cabbage. What is that? 
It's just one bird singing here. I can hear some down in the hollers, but where I'm at, it is quiet. I hear some crows in the distance. They're not quite ready. There was something standing at the end of this road and then it just cut off. I don't know if you've seen it or not. It stinks to high hill right here, right now. There was something, it was right at the end. And then it circled around, come this way and went back that way. The wind's blowing here and there's a fresh breeze coming this way. There's no foul odor, it's actually blowing it out. So whatever that was that cut through here could have been what I've been looking for. Y'all know it, I've said it. I don't know if this is a Bigfoot, Wendigo, Skinwalker, whatever. Like, I don't know what this is, but I know it's weird. I'm gonna find out who owns this little spot between mine. See if they care if I cut that tree out of the way. This right here still freaks me out. Have any of y'all ever seen a formation like this? I mean, it almost looks like somebody was building a bushcraft shelter, but I mean, who would use old rotten sticks? I don't know, that's weird. I'm gonna take a picture of that. There's something down there. When I was taking that picture, I know the other camera heard it. Yeah, it's the same old feelings, same old feelings. I feel like I'm being followed the whole time I'm up here. Back down here, the birds are singing. Back down there. Listen, the birds are singing again. Because there have been times y'all have picked up on things, sent me pictures of the different things you've seen while I'm up here. And this helps having multiple cameras now so we can get all angles of this. Which I don't know about this one. It seems a little unlevel, unbalanced. I don't care for this shoulder harness very much. I know y'all probably won't be able to tell it, but I've walked about two miles one direction. Just if there's nothing in the footage, I'll cut it. I just seen something on that hill duck down. Where did it go? Looks like this go around. The only thing I've caught was the, the tree formation back there. Like I said, I have never seen anything like that before. Y'all let me know. <laughs> that formation that was purposely put there there's no way that that could be done in nature it's just impossible the way that it was laid out they was crammed back in the branches of that first tree that's actually still standing that smell got super strong something don't feel happy i gotta get back down here to my side by side
something up here right now. I can feel it looking at me. There's a big noise right over here. There's something on this mountain. Like a lot of people say, go deep into the woods. Like how much deeper do you want to go? I don't think you understand where we live. We are in the deep woods. We are the backwoods. I'm right in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. And if you honestly think there's nothing in these mountains that we don't know about, they're finding species of life constantly, all the time, every day. And if you don't think there's something in these mountains, because we're in the middle of nowhere, we, we're over an hour away from an interstate. Like we are small town America in the mountains. You guys, we love y'all. Stay positive, stay country, stay true to your roots. And we'll see you on this mountainside, y'all. Thank you.